this Pat Sloan here. So today I have the calendar for April. Yay! Got the April calendar done. I went to pick up the paper out of the printer and uh, Mr. Greg goes, oh, by the way, we're out of paper. So I've been using the colored paper that we have. So my, uh, <laughs> mine is green for spring. I've said green for March, right? Green for spring. So you can download that at my I Love to Make Quilts on the calendar page today. And if you get my emails, I'll put it in the email link tomorrow when the email goes out on Friday. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of pay things that we do by day on here. And then I love doing the little calendar at the top with all the little fun items. And then this is updated with the project list their dates there if you're looking at this online the links are clickable so there's links for most things on there and uh yeah so that's good should so be all up to date and you can download your calendar yes okay so i decided i've got that stack you know things that i'm that i'm giving uh to the charity my friends coming on monday uh and i did switch out the one quilt because i decided i would rather have the smaller version of the quilt using the drawing room that has kind of the art deco um quilting on it because i love that art deco quilting and I decided to put the bigger quilt in for the charity. Plus this one, uh, I think is a little easier for me to hang, you know, like hanging wise, the other one's quite a bit bigger. So it's actually more usable. So, and then sometimes they auction them off. The different charities use them for auction events and things like that. So I did switch this one out, which just means the re one of the big reasons I did not switch it immediately was because I had to put binding on it. And I was trying to get, <laughs> move some of them out that I need binding. But I decided it was worth it. I would keep this, keep this one. And now I'm leaving it in here. I'm going to trim it and do that and the uh, spools. So those are my two on the docket because I actually have two coming back from the quilter fairly soon, like the horses and whatever else I had out there. <laughs> then my, uh, my friend Karen that does my long army. So anyway, I will, <laughs> I will do those afterwards so i have to go back to my schedule of as soon as they come in i put the binding on which has been a pretty massive fail <clears throat> i haven't done that much but hey you know is it that's that's what it is <laughs> sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, so i got i saw somebody talking about this <clears throat> so i got some so anybody use this magic it's to get the wrinkles out of things and I thought, okay, well, does it work? I have used um, the, uh, oh, what's it called? My brain just stopped. It's the flatter. I flatter comes in a bunch of different aromas. Or, is that right? Aroma? <laughs> smells? <laughs> different smells. Uh, there's a pineapple one, which is my favorite. And there's two sizes. But I've been using this. But I thought, well, I'm going to try this one too because you know it's all for science <laughs> it's for science you gotta you gotta try research research project so i thought well i'm going to while we're talking here i will spray this and then we'll check it later and see see what it looks like but i need to put something underneath it so let me just grab i'll just grab two pieces of fabric so i've got banana fabric banana banana that was just on top there so i am going to spray this i'm going to spray that seam right there and then we'll just we'll just see what happens a little bit later we'll take a look at it i want it to be wet okay so there we go so i will just set it over to the side over here it did go through a little bit even that's okay I'll wipe that off then. Oh, all right, I got that. So also today, what is today? Um, it is it is baseball day. So are you a baseball fan? Are you a big baseball fan? My brother really likes baseball. Uh, they used to get to go to the games and we went down once to the, the um, minor leagues. When they lived in Florida, they were near a minor league field. And so we went down and saw some minor league games with them, which is super fun. Very low key, very small stadium, smallish stadium. It was super fun. So it is, it is baseball day. So if you have a baseball quilt, a quilt with 
baseball fabric or baseball images. Show that today in my Facebook group, Quilts Along with Pat Sloan. That will be super fun to see. And also I got some Tilda fabric in and I want to show you that. Why did I not bring it over? Why, oh why did I not bring it over? Let me bring this too, because I gotta show you this. I was gonna show you this the other day, but uh, that didn't happen. So I've got it there and I've got this Tilda fabric. So, here we go. And I believe, and I know, oh no, this is it. Whoops. Okay. I could have been more organized, but you know, this is real life. So first of all, the Tilda fabric, I just, whoops. I don't know why I shut that camera way up in the air. I just went nuts for this main print. This is called Jubilee. It's called Jubilee. We'll look at, we'll look at it. But I just got a great big piece of this with the elephants and the ballerinas or the, you know, the, the dancers. Look at this. Oh, it is just so delightful. So delightful. It makes me smile. The trees are coming out of teacups. The elephant is holding a teapot. Look at that. Just look. How can you not love that? And it's red. I think it has other colors, but you know red uh, and so these are the prints and Tilda's prints vary I find you know sometimes they're like these small pretty small prints and they kind of look very traditional with other um, but 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 more fresh colors uh, so let's take a look because you know you can't you can't see it in the bundle can you I have to do my doing this so sampler today I don't know I might We'll see if I get to it. Uh, I might not. I think that'll be for tomorrow. Okay, so here is the bundle. So you've got like this print, like here's some sweet birds. Look at the bird. Look at that. And then you have the trees. I am going to use this part of this for, I think, I think I'm going to use it for London Town when we do London Town in the fall, but I'm not sure. I might also use Paradise Park, so but I just had to have this. <gasps> look, look, and then here's the elephants. And then you've got, so it also reminds me a bit of a William Morris type. Um, it's just, this whole line is just so cool. And I know it's been out just a little while. I didn't show you this right away. So if you're interested, I don't know what pieces are left. I'll link you to everything in the description box, but there, can you even see this in my, oh, look at the gold. See, okay, so here, here we go. Here is the elephants and the lady dancing uh, on taupe, that's a taupe. So then there's blue colors, see the blue, there she comes on blue, uh, the blue, the blue birds, blue birds, blue, then more taupe and then aqua, 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 and then more taupe. Then there's also this line which are all of these prints, they're just like small prints, green, blue, lighter blue, that summer blue, taupes, the gold, the red. So I got those two, so I got all of those. So I have this, and this again, I have link it down below, it's Jubilee. So I just wanted to show you that because I thought it was super, super fabulous. Ah, oh, you know, sometimes a line just calls to me. It just calls. Okay, we're gonna do so sampler tomorrow because I'm looking at what I wanna show you because we have a quilt parade. I have a quilt parade today, but I wanted to show you these things I got. Um, so remember I told you I wanted to get, I'm, I'm onto the elephants, right? So I wanted to get uh, Tula Pink's piece of her elephant fabric. So I got that one, got the pink. I really, really love that. I think it might, I might just do a pillow, like just, just this, just so I could enjoy it and then keep whatever I didn't use. Um, then I wanted to get the birds. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> it's like I, it, it, I can't see the birds at all. So I am going to have to get a different color of this. This is like kind of fluorescent -y peach on peach. So I can't even see the birds. So I need to get a new one of that. That doesn't happen too often that I don't quite a, kind of know what's going, what I'm going to get but it does, it sometimes does. Then I've got this in 
aqua right now that I made a pillow and I thought I've got to grab a piece of the pinky color too with the shells and so I I got that uh, then these just oh my goodness look when we were doing the breakfast club I saw these and just they're just so cute had to have them had to have them if they're still around I'm linking everything's in the description box below here that I'm showing you so if they still have it I will uh, link you to it and I've had a piece of this before and I, it's really beautiful um, stripe with a wide stripe and so I wanted another piece of it so that uh, I might use it for something who knows but I could use it for, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for there's no plan I just wanted to be sure I had more <laughs> do you do that do you Tell me in the description box here in the comments at YouTube, do you buy just in case? Like, is that a silly question? Yeah, you're a quilter, of course. You probably do. But maybe there's somebody out there that know you. I know, I know there's some of you who only buy what you're going to use. You're amazing. I don't understand you, but you're amazing. <laughs> then I did something. I have no clue. No clue. I bought three pieces of fabric that I have no clue. I, my brain, I'm still, I'm still like, I'm leaving it out thinking it's just going to pop into my head. Oh yeah, that's what that was for. No, hasn't happened yet. So I have these three, which are gorgeous together, but look beautiful. But what the heck did I buy these for? I bought them probably for an, uh, for either like an Oh My Stars, like the, they're going to like be the star for an Oh My Stars or maybe a border, but I don't know what fabric because I don't have, I don't have a bunch of charm packs. I have some layer cakes. So I need to go through on the little rolling card over here. I have to go over there and look through it and find out if there is like a layer cake or something in there that I am totally forgetting. Uh, how does that happen? And it's not like fat quarters. <laughs> they look like two yard pieces. I am afraid to open them and look. I really am. I'm like, uh, and I just got them. I just got them. It's like, what was I doing? I hope I didn't just put them in the cart thinking about them and then forgot to take them out because that has happened. That has happened. Uh. <laughs> so tell me, have you done that? This totally, I mean, something you've got just recently. Totally can't remember why. Okay, the other thing I got was this fat quarter bundle that I am just, uh, this is by, um, it's called Sweet and, Pl Sweet and Plenty by um, me and my sister, Barbara Mary. Um, and I just, uh, okay, so let's take a peek. I don't want to unbundle the whole thing because, you know, sometimes I'm just like looking at it real pretty. And so I'm just going to show you just by the edges. I'm pulling this over, okay, because, you know, I cannot get it back in there. But it's got dots. Okay, there's white. Some more dots. But the, the flowers. And then oh, look at the little birds. The little birds. And then this is cool. This is cool. And I need to figure out what to do with it. More dots. And then it goes into the gray. But this, look at this green. I mean, yeah, green and gray with little pink dots. I know, I know. Then the aquas, all that in aqua, and then that green. And I'm loving that green. There's green and aqua in that. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. So, and then the green, lots of green. And then pinks, got everything in pink. That's a really pretty pink. And then there's, look at that, that raspberry pink. This is a darker pink. There's not red. This is two pinks, light pink and a darker pink of everything. And then the black, the black just really, oh, black and gray of that sets this off. This really sets it off. So, and there's a stripe, there's this little stripe. That's beautiful, beautiful. So I need to figure out something because it is so happy and cheerful. It's just, it's just amazing. Okay. So my block a day that is no longer a block a day for March has just one seam left to do and then I have to get a border on it. Now my timing has been kind of weird uh, due to like having to do a bunch of different things that are not work related. So I'm not actually getting much time in between a couple of these videos to sew. So there hasn't been much time to actually move that forward, but it's close now. So 
Um, maybe for tomorrow's video, I will have gotten it sewn and work on the border, which I'll show on the video. Otherwise, it's going to have to roll over until, um, you know, Monday, I guess. Then I'll have the, then I'll have a wrap up of the block a day, cause I, you know, or Tuesday, something like that. But I got, got a little bit of crunch. But you all, a bunch of you, have finished your whole top. <laughs> Yes, you did. So I want to show you a little parade, a little quilt parade of tops that were finished because those of you who maybe haven't started yet or you so you're looking for a colorway and you're really not quite sure, this should give you some great inspiration. You can always go over to the Quilt Along with Path Sloan page and take a look there as well. So let's look. Angie starts us off with her uh, version that has this gorgeous light colored floral border. Look at that and all the colors pull in from that. It's just beautiful. Barbara's is a study in solids. Look how cool that is. So if you've been wondering like what does it look with solids? There you go. Beautiful. Denise warm and cozy and she did uh, her borders with three different colors so there's a way to do that if you were wondering and she pulled her polka dot from inside to the outer border. Donna's it has a gorgeous uh, sort of oh there's an elephant <laughs> I just to scroll in the center of her blocks is an elephant they are so cute with that purple stripe love it and here's a different Donna. I love that gingham. She also has some purple. And she said she used all of her scraps. So she did the little piano key on the sides. That is very clever. It looks so good. Jan's is rocking the orange. And she's got black and orange. It is fantastic. Pulled the orange from the blocks out to the border. And just, you can just see, you know, just all these different combinations are so amazing. Janet's is gorgeous. Uh, she has a teal. Her center of her blocks is the same fabric as the border and it's done with a polka dot binding. Cool beans. Carla did two. One with a black border, one with a, I mean, black background, one with a blue background. And they're the same fabrics, just put in different places. How cool is that? Gorgeous. Lucy. Now Lucy have I have three pictures from Lucy's because part of Lucy's fabrics are one of my older fabric lines. A lot of her middle fabrics, the zigzag, the scissors batik, the dots, those are all my bobbins and bits fabric line from way back. And then here's a close up of that so you can see some of my batiks, the oranges, the teals, some of the teals there. And then she did a cool backing too. Look at that. Love it. So fun to see all those different components. Lula's is not quite done, but I had to show you because there she's auditioning her borders. And so she also is doing three different borders, but the pandas. Now I knew about that panda fabric, but now of course, now I see Lula's and I need it. I need that panda fabric. Yes, I do. Lynette's is a study in pink, pretty in pink. Oh, so beautiful. And she used a pink stripe for part of her, um, her squares that just gorgeous. Love it. Love it. And the last one is from Vicki and isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty in blue. And she said that she had to make do with what she had. So she just, uh, had to do a little bit of piecing, I think on her borders to get it all together. Um, so she didn't do like an extra border. I think that's what happened. So she has a little bit smaller, but it works. It is so awesome. Thank you everybody for sharing and sewing along with me. Fun times, right? Super fun. Everybody's done such a great job. Okay. Let's see how this is working. It is still damp. And so I think here, look at this. It's still damp. Okay. But damp, I can see that the line is coming out. I can still see it. You may not be able to see it on camera, but I can still see it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the iron on real quick. All right. So once again, I'm trying out this magic, uh, quilting and crafting spray to get rid of the wrinkles. And I'm just going to press along there. Oh yeah. It's totally disappearing. You know, drying it on its own will probably take a few more minutes if it were, you know, on all totally on its own. 
So I am helping it along here. So there, that's good. That's that's plenty good. So you can see, see, it does give it a little bit of firmness too. So it has a little bit of a firmness thing happening. So there you go. So that, that was pretty cool. So the other one that I've used in the past is the flatter brand. So I'll link you to that one too. And this one also works really well. So tomorrow, uh, so sampler, this will be off the wall so I can put up the pressed flowers because we'll have another pressed flower block and I will open this tomorrow on Friday's video. And then also if I have time, which is maybe, maybe, maybe not, I will look at the border from my mercantile. So those are the kind of two things I want to do on tomorrow's video. Because uh, I just kind of, I want to get those, I want to get them wrapped up, get them wrapped up. Okay. So I love you, my friend. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.